Hey y'all, so Thrifty Southerner, back again for another Thrifty Thursday haul. Hope y'all had an awesome week. I have had a good week, and uh, I have some really good things to show you guys today. But before we get started, if you are new to my channel, I would love to have you as a subscriber. I film videos like this, as well as some shop with me's, jewelry jar openings, things like that. And uh, if you're interested in any of the items I'm selling today, you can join my Facebook group. I will leave it in the description box below. It is a closed group. You will have to ask to join and I will approve you. And then you may ask about an item. Please tell me your state so that I can give you the price of the item and the cost to ship that item. All right, if you're not a Facebooker, you can email me. I'll also, also leave that linked in the description box below. Okay. So, I did not get a chance to go to the outlets again gas is so expensive you guys that i've been trying to stay home and just go out when i need to go out that being said i did get some good garage sale shopping this weekend my husband went with me and i think he's my good luck charm because we found so much good stuff i'm, I'm sure you could see in the um description that uh i found some really good stuff so let's get started as per usual with the stuff I'm keeping for myself and or my family. All right, firstly, I need to wash these. I paid 50 cents for them and they need a little shoe goo, but they are um, uh, Tevis. My daughter loves these. This is what she likes to wear in the summertime. These do need a little bit of shoe goo on them but for 50 cents and they need to go in the wash. So I'll probably wash them and then shoe goo them. got this uh i might see if i can resell this um it is a beauty control item i went to a a garage sale of a lady who was cleaning out her mother's her mother-in-law's estate and she was a beauty control rep that also had a shopping problem so she had thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars of beauty control products that she had never sold because she just kept ordering more and more beauty control so i got this candle and it's sheer rain it's sm my husband said it smells old, like an old lady so i don't know i like it but if he doesn't like it i'm not gonna burn it and i also found an item that i'll show you guys in a little while that i got for myself just to see if i liked the way it smelled and i ended up finding out that it's like a rare item and it's worth quite a bit on eBay, so this could be as well. I didn't look that up. Anyway, blah, 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 blah. Long story short. Short story long. Uh, got these. They are Color Street. They're really pretty. They are um, what's Tokyo Lights. I got three of them for a dollar. The other two I'm going to be selling because, again, they are retired and they're, uh, they go for more than what they originally sold for. So, But these I'm keeping. For either myself or my daughter. Got this Forbidden Desert Thirst for Survival. It's a game. Uh, we like to play games here at our house. Um, the top is on backwards. So I was looking at the back, but now it's upside down. Anyway, these are reasoning games like skill and, and planning, you know. Uh, what am I trying to say? Strategy games. That's what I was trying to say. Strategy games. So we also got another one. Pirates and Skull. Pirate and Skull. Something something like that. With this stuff. But it's over there. So, got those. This guy I don't think we're going to use. Because my husband said you have to... Oh, no. See, you can anchor it with adhesive tape. <sighs> my husband just opens stuff up and he's like, Oh, no. We can't use that. It's, we can't, it's got screws. We can't screw into the, to the car. He didn't even read. Right here. Anchor points with adhesive tape or sheet metal screws or speed clips. So, we will use this. It is a little net for the back of your car to keep all your stuff, all your gear from rolling around, which I definitely need. And I'm going to have him take another look at this and show him that we can attach it with other stuff. Nextly, I got this for my daughter. She's got a very small room because we're in 880 square feet and she has started sewing. So this is a little, it's like pens, needles, trim, measuring tape, buttons, 
thread, scissors, it's a little sewing organizer that she can hang in her closet. Although she did this weekend get a beautiful sewing uh, basket from her grandmother, one of her grandmothers. So, okay, this is kind of weird, but really great for me. Um, if you are new to my channel, we homeschool. I have one daughter, she just turned 12, and I do homeschool her. And we have used BJU, which is Bob Jones University in the past, and uh, would use it again for one or two subjects. It's very rigorous. And I don't want to be a slave to schooling my daughter. <laughs> so uh, we do some other stuff right now. But I found this biology kit. So she's not quite ready for biology yet. But this kit is a, um, it is a, uh, what am I trying to say? It's a science lab kit, okay? And these sell on their website. It's got the full, everything you need for all of their biology science labs. It is a, I think it's 279 on their website and 300, over 300 on some other websites. It was March 20. We stopped at the garage sale at like 8.30 and I just asked her if she'd take 10 bucks and she did. So this was literally a, an amazing deal for us because it did have some shrimp eggs in it that need to go in the fridge. I put those in the fridge. I don't know in a couple of years if they'll be good or not, but I'm sure I can order shrimp, uh, brine shrimp eggs off of Amazon. And uh, the rest of this stuff should be totally fun. It's got balloons, feathers, dissection kit, dialysis tubing, antibiotic discs. So, um, all kinds of stuff. Prepared slides, specimens in here. There's a rat in here. Anyway, that's probably backwards, but it should be super cool. And I was oh so excited about that. Because that's going to save me a lot of money in a few years. Okay, this is the last thing I'm keeping for myself. Kind of big. There's not a big. There it is. A grill. Okay. We go camping. In fact, we just got a pop-up camper. We bought it over the weekend. Um, we've had multiple different campers. We still have a 38-foot fifth wheel that is out and on our property that we are going to use as a um, guest house, but it has a broken slide, so we can't travel with it. Plus, it's enormous. We lived in it while we were looking for our land, and preparing our land and getting our house and everything so um we had sold our smaller one that we had when we moved here and then we sold our truck so we needed something that was um easy to pull but also comfortable so we bought a pop-up this weekend with and i'm just really really excited to get camping again and so i bought this so that we could grill while we're camping and we didn't have to start like a campfire or do charcoal and uh, come to find out, these grills, they resell for like 100 bucks. I think I paid four for it. So I had no idea what it was. We just thought it was cool. So apparently it's a good, good grill. Uh, alrighty. I'm rambly bambly today. Let's get to the things I'm reselling. Let us start with these color streets. These are, like I said, I got these three for a dollar. This one is called... Don't quit your daydream. It's very pretty, very pretty for Easter. I need to get these listed. And then this one is, what are you up to? What are you up to? So super cute. Okay, the thing, the beauty control items that I got that are apparently really uh, expensive, I mean, are like, like very rare, are these guys and they are it's positively you heart by ginger heath this is the body cream it says this richly feminine feminine sensuous fragrance cream silken skin oh i thought it said what it was oh uh scents of lily of the valley jasmine musk patchouli amber and vanilla so yeah lily of the valley jasmine same 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 so one of these that had already been opened sold on eBay for 90 bucks a couple weeks ago. And then somebody had two little sample things with like just a little, I don't even know, I've never seen a, it looked like it should have been like a lipstick sample. It was in one of those little bubbles, but it had fluid in it. I, I guess that's how they did their uh, scent samples. And they sold those for like six bucks and it was like two little tiny samples. So 
Anyway, that was a good surprise. This lady had so much of this. If I had known that I could resell it, and if I do resell it, I may just go back over there. She said she's going to have another garage sale, I think. So, um, and get it from her. Because I think I paid a quarter for these each. I also got at this uh, same garage sale. Uh, she was practically giving stuff away, this lady. Because she just wanted to get rid of it. It was just so overwhelming. I got this DSI. DSI. It is brand new. It also comes with this. Hold on. Comes with this. Mad Cats. So apparently the DSIs have got a camera on them. This is a Mad Cats flash. And then the kit. The Mad Cats kit comes with the extra USB. That's got. It's 2 gigabytes I guess. USB 2.0. No I think it's 8, 8 gigabytes. And. Then there's also. Hold on. I can tell you. Yeah. So, it's a mini, I'm sorry, this is a mini USB, and then I also have an extra Nintendo DS 8 gigabyte, uh, whatever it is. I can't think of what it is. SD card. So, got that. This guy still has the sticker on it. It did not have a charger with it, though, so I did have to order a charger off of Amazon. I just plugged it in and it is blinking orange and I read that that means that the battery is not getting a good connection. So when my husband gets home, I'm going to have him open this up and make sure the battery is getting a good connection because there should be no reason why this doesn't work. It's literally brand new. It also came with this case, which is a branded case, as well as extra um, styluses. It has a stylus in it and then it came with extra ones. Why you would need that many extra ones, I do not know. And what's the other thing? This is, I guess, where the, um, I don't know, it's like a holder for games, but it didn't, it didn't come with any games, so I don't know. So I got that. That was awesome. And I think I paid two dollars for that. Also got these Birkenstocks from her. Um, unfortunately, they do have some black on them that I could not get off. However, if these were my size, I would have kept them, and I would not have cared because it's on the side, so you can't really see it. Um, they're so cute. They're like a periwinkle color. They're, I think they're a size 8. They're 37, whatever that breaks down to. And they are so cute. But they do have some black here. On them so if anybody wants them I'll give you a great deal on them because of that black which again I would 1000% wear these if they were my size I love them this is probably one of my favorite colors like a deep periwinkle so pretty <sighs> I wish those were my size I tried them on I tried to make them fit they were just too small nextly also at that garage sale I got this travel on uh, RFID blocking wallet still has the tag really nice with the pleating nice big wallet interior ooh the, the sun just went behind a cloud I'm sure you guys can tell also at that garage sale I got this wedding in Davis it is a vintage wedding in Davis Probably 70s if I had to guess based on that quailing. I wish it said. I'm going to say it's more than likely a 1970s wedding in Davis. And it has the wedding. If, if anyone knows if when they did this where they did the wedding in Davis on the inside, you can remove the strap or leave it on. Uh, for a vintage item, it is in very good condition. It is kind of dry. I probably need to condition it. Because this is leather and then the trim is leather. Got these also at, oh, I forgot. So I got another item. I knew there was something else. We have a ninja, I'll pop a picture up here if I can. But if I don't get a chance to do that, I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about. I got a ninja foodie. It's one of the six-in-ones or whatever. It's a um, 
pressure cooker. What else? Pressure cooker, air fryer. Uh, it does all the things. It's the big one. It has two different lids. Um, we have one. We use it all the time. I probably use it. I use it every morning to toast my daughter's uh, croissants when I make her breakfast. And then I use it probably two to three nights a week. I use a pressure cooker as well as the air fryer and also the little broiler to, like I said, crisp up her stuff. We found one that was brand new at this same garage store where I got the thing I'm going to show you, and we paid 40 bucks for it. So I was able to take that one, keep it here in my kitchen, and take the other one and put it out in our new camper so that when we camp, I can make chili or soup or whatever in that, and I don't have to lug it because it is heavy. I mean, it's, it's cumbersome, and it probably weighs about 12 pounds. Like, it's not that heavy. But anyway forgot to tell you guys about that that was awesome okay I also got these at that garage sale and they are super duper cute they're a little dirty I need to clean them off um, but it looks like they've only been worn like one time those little stretchy converse again they were my size totally keep them but they're not uh, they're so cute I might throw them in the wash I'm not sure some oxy they're really very clean though, just on the toe, which I can do with a magic eraser. So excited about those. And then here is the last thing I got. And I know you will have seen this in the uh, description box. I will have definitely prominently put the name of this. It is in rough shape, you guys. Okay, so let me tell you a story. Went to this garage sale. It was for like a mission trip or something. It was crazy. Like, the whole backyard of this person's house was just, like, everything was laid out. It was, like, a mess. And I can't stand that kind of thing. Like, it's too much. It's sensory overload. I can't, I usually can't look. So, I looked at a couple of things. And I went to my husband. I looked at the shoes. And I just, like, kind of walked around. Like, everything was in these huge bins. And then there was shit all over the floor. It was just, like, on the ground. It was just too much. It was just too much. And so, I looked around. I went to my husband. I said, you know, you ready to go? And he was like, yeah, let me look at one more thing. I walked around a corner and I saw a bag of purses or like a bin of purses. So, I was like, well, I'm definitely going to look through those. And I looked through those and I see this bag and it's braided leather, like the basket weave. And I'm like, oh, that looks like an, like an Italian leather purse. Looks pretty nice. Looking at it, it's a little rough. Looks vintage. Snaps look vintage. I'm looking. I'm looking. I'm looking, and I see in the interior pocket, I see, if you cannot read that, it says Bottega Veneta. I about had a heart attack that I found this Bottega Veneta purse at this raunchy garage sale with all of this disgusting stuff. Okay, it is dirty. I cleaned it with leather cleaner on the outside, but it is also in pretty rough shape. I'm going to show it to you. Actually, the body of the bag is not in rough shape. And here is the front. Here's the back. Show you guys the sides. It is definitely a vintage Bottega Veneta. Pretty buttons. I mean, see, it's. I did condition it, but it has definitely, you know, lived its life. It's lived a life. Okay. Here's what I didn't notice, but I would have bought it anyway. I mean, who's going to leave a Bottega Veneta garage sale? Come on. So, the strap, I did not notice on this one is basically falling apart as far as the leather. That is, I'm pretty sure, an easy fix. I would think they could even take these guys off and re just put a new strap on, use this same fastener button I mean I'm not a cobbler but I would think and this one is in okay condition but at the top it is doing that so the straps would definitely need to be replaced um there is some let me show you can you see how that leather looks kind of like something scraped up against it right here Nothing major. I think that's the backside too. 
I mean, it really doesn't matter. Yeah, that's the back side. Um, I don't think it's... Yeah, that's not happening on the front. Mm, maybe a little bit. You know, maybe from somebody's arm. Maybe a little right here. Um, it is dirty on the inside. I need to wipe it out. But you've got a compartment here, okay? With a snap. I saw these snaps. I was like, those are definitely, in my opinion, vintage snaps. Does that snap work? That snap works. Then you've got a middle zip pocket with like a vinyl kind of interior that zips. And there's also a zipping pocket in there. There's your potato veneta underneath there. And then, and look at the, look at the zipper pull too. I don't know a ton about Bottega Veneta, but I would guess this is a vintage bag. And then you've got, so you've got two snapping compartments and then one in the middle. So that is that. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. I'm not going to promise you that I will make it to the bins. I need to because I need to continue to post stuff because um, it sold a lot, but I just, I don't know what, I don't know. Who knows what tomorrow brings. So I do hope to get to garage sales this weekend because I had really good luck this weekend. All right. Tell me what you think. And if you made it this far, what do I want you? Put licorice in the comments for the black purse, like black licorice. Okay. Let me know you made it to the end. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you for continuing to watch my videos. And if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Feel free to comment. I'd love to talk to you guys. And uh, until next time, y'all keep it thrifty.